we're going to start off with some news you can use today. There's a, an article from a couple of days ago out of the New York Times that I want to tell you a little bit about. There's actually two articles. Um, this, uh, this one said diapers, cereal, and yes, even toilet paper are going to get more expensive. Use, a retailer is used to absorb much of the cost of goods when suppliers raise prices. Now the difference is being passed on to shoppers. Procter & Gamble, which is one of the largest consumer goods uh, businesses that we've got uh, around in this country, um, said that they are raising prices on items like Pampers, uh, and other items uh, in September. Kimberly Clark said in March that they'll raise prices on toilet paper, huggies, pull-ups, et cetera, in June, a uh, move that is, quote, necessary to help, help offset significant commodity cost inflation. And General Mills, which makes cereal brands, including Cheerios, is facing increased supply chain and freight costs uh, increases in this higher demand environment. That's what they're calling it. They're saying that there's a higher demand and which has increased the cost and they're going to pass that on. Um, they further go on to say that these price increases reflect what some economists are calling a major shift in the way companies have responded to demand during the pandemic. Before the virus hit, retailers often absorbed the cost um, when suppliers raised prices on the raw ingredients to them, but because stiff competition has forced retailers to keep prices stable and inventories low, um, the pandemic, because of the pandemic, uh, that's totally changed everything. Um, another article that goes along with that I saw was Warren Buffett basically said, he came out last week and said, inflation is here to stay and we're willing to pay for it. Um, this is really kind of an interesting concept. Um, normally, everybody panics when inflation comes into the market and things go up. Uh, you've probably seen gasoline prices rise and increase. Some of that is due to over, in my opinion, over-regulatory uh, by the federal government. Some of it is due to, to increased demand. Um, and the manufacturers, the suppliers, that kind of thing have increased prices accordingly and people are willing to pay for it. And that's what Warren Buffett says. Inflation is here and it's here to stay because nobody is revolting having a problem the, the typical solution is the Fed would raise interest rates to dampen demand. If things cost more, that would tend to uh, drop demand down and people wouldn't buy as much or as often as they had in the past. Um, but the economy seems to be heating up a little bit because probably the what I would call the boomerang effect. Everybody was sitting on the sidelines for a year. Now they want to get out and spend. The government has pumped people's pockets full of money and people want to go spend it, whether it's on toilet paper, new houses, uh, you know, whatever, cars, uh, gasoline, that kind of thing. So expect inflation to be here for a short period of time. So far, the government has not moved to dampen demand by raising interest rates. I, I think that will change at some point, but um, we have uh, potentially what we call a tail wagging the dog scenario here where uh, the government may have to chase down demand and try and dampen it by a series of increasing interest rate raises. But right now they're sitting on the sideline and trying to, I think, trying to figure out what to do. I don't know what's going on, but it is a bizarre deal. Um, in the meantime, expect everything to cost more, including houses. Um, and one of the reasons, a great example that I've talked about many times on here is that uh, in the housing world, um, lumber prices have gone up dramatically. Once again, a combination of mismanagement by governments around the world and increasing demand for housing. So the average price, and I'll talk about this on Thursday night's call, uh, the average price from one year ago just attributed to the increase in lumber costs are $36,000, $36,000 increase um, due to uh, increased prices of lumber. So it's an interesting scenario, interesting times ahead. Um, you know, we were expecting kind of more of a crash. It looks like it's going the opposite direction right now. Uh, so we will keep our eyes on this and keep everybody informed as to what we see and how it will affect you guys. Um, you know, prices, especially on new houses, are going to be increasing. It's a it's a real interesting scenario, and I'm trying to find a period of time where 
where it happened, where we actually have inflation in some pieces of the economy and deflation due to bad economic conditions in other parts. Um, and I remember something from an old econ class where there was a period of hyperinflation and hyperdeflation simultaneously. I just have to look back and see when it was um, and kind of search through that. And I can give you guys some clues as to how uh, it may play out this time. Keep in mind, the history repeats itself. It always does uh, and has for centuries, millennial, millenniums. Um, and so if something happened this way in 1932, it's probably going to happen this way again. Uh, we'll just, we'll research and we'll, we'll kind of let you know, but this, you're kind of getting at the, at the forefront of the information curve here as to what's going on out there. So I will keep you all in the loop, um, in, let's see, that's news you can use. We've got some tricks of the trade that I want to talk to you guys about, um, Specifically, I was talking to uh, our house team and I will uh, actually send you a copy or we will play a copy of part of that uh, house team call, our actual house team and how we train and how we work with our people. We'll probably play that on Thursday night's call, I suspect. And actually I'll send you, remind me, and I'll send you a copy of that call and we can clip the part uh, out of it that where we we talked about uh, sellers and their motivation and how to specifically dialogue and talk with sellers um, but in fact maybe i'll just save that because i've already burned through 10 minutes of our our hour here i'll save that till later uh, a future call but um uh, little teeny tiny tricks of the trade when and this has happened twice in the last few days uh, in our housing business, people, sellers have responded accidentally to us when we think they were responding to somebody else. They seem confused. They came back to us. They re referenced a conversation that we weren't part of. So it was obviously a conversation they had with somebody else. When that happens, don't correct them. Just go with it. So uh, in, in a particular case, I think a, a seller called and said, I'm looking forward to you, you know, looking at our house, sending your people through our house to buy it. And uh, we quickly responded, you know what? We don't need to come and look at your house. We don't need to send anybody. We're ready to go ahead and, and complete this transaction at the agreed price. We don't have an agreed price, um, but we did tell them that, you know, we, we're willing to go ahead and, and sell it at the agreed price. And uh, we're, this just happened, I think, yesterday. And so we're waiting to hear back. And I, I'm not even sure if we did hear back yet from them. But uh, I suspect they'll, you know, and I've, I've bought dozens of houses in my career by people accidentally reaching out to me. And, um, you know, you just got to make sure you act like it's a, a flesh wound. You know, it's, it's nothing burger. It's just we're just going to keep going and we're going to keep talking about it. And we're going to go ahead and take them to close because... They, they thought enough to accidentally reach out to you. Now, I'm sure people have done that where we've talked to folks and they've reached out to somebody else. So, you know, I believe in all's fair and love and war. Um, and I would I take that and, and don't be confused. Don't correct them. Just figure out a good way to go come back and dialogue with it. If you have a question, put it in the Facebook group, you know, copy and paste the language that they said and we'll help you come back with something that will allow you to uh, be composed and act uh, as if it's been your deal all along. But you will end up doing a number of deals in your career. If you're in this business for any length of time, you will end up doing a number of mistaken deals out there. Uh, don't be surprised. It's just part of the business. Uh, but uh, make sure you, you grab it and, and you run with it.